Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Always More Sims, and this is my update uh, of my current household for the month of May. So this is actually my fourth time recording this. I'm really annoyed, to be honest. Um, I took a break from it yesterday, and I'm trying it again. So the first time, turns out the audio wasn't recording. Like, it wasn't recording my voice. The second time, it wasn't recording, period. The third time, once again, it was not recording, you know, my voice and stuff. And I'm like, this is getting really annoying. But I'm going to try again. Hopefully all goes well. So, last time when I did an update, so the update of April, you guys knew Brianna, which is who we are sort of zooms in on right now, and her son Nolan and Nolan's father, Logan. So, and I I told you guys that Logan, you know, felt that he had been, you know, sort of trapped into marriage by Brianna getting pregnant. You know, he was sort of a douche. Uh, he was a jerk. Um, it, had, it had been a pretty strained relationship. Logan pretty much hated Nolan, was coming to despise Brianna, and had started sleeping around. Um, he was he was cheating on Brianna um, with uh, Zelda May, which is just she's a local townie. Um, but anyways, yeah, he he was having an affair with Zelda May. Well, it was Nolan's birthday party, and Brianna invited her family over. So you know, her mom, her dad, her sisters, and her brother. Her aunts, her aunt and uncle, who are in Sunset Valley with us, her grandmother, you know, she invited them all over, and I made sure Zelda was not on the list, because I wanted this party to go smoothly, I didn't want, you know, Logan and Zelda to try anything to ruin the party, I mean, this was supposed to be all about Nolan, well, Zelda still ended up showing up, and I swear, I did not invite Zelda, like, she just suddenly showed up. Well, I tried to look past it, and I focused on having Brianna help Nolan blow out his candles, because he was a toddler aging up into a child. And all of a sudden, she puts Nolan down, and the interaction, or whatever, the thing queued up in the corner to uh, blow out candles had been canceled out. But what there was like another thing queued up, but it, like, it wasn't loading. So I'm like, what the heck? Well, I put my mouse over it, and it said accused of cheating. I'm like, oh snap, I went over to look at what Logan was doing and he was trying to woohoo with Zelda in the middle of the living room, in the middle of the party. Like, bro, you have, he has some nerve. And Zelda was actually pregnant. Now there was this like two day period that I didn't know where, I sent Logan over to Zelda's house. And I thought, oh, he'll come home, you know, he'll get kicked out or something. So I didn't worry about him. Well, I hadn't noticed that we'd gone two days without Logan coming home. And I guess during that time, he had uh, gotten Zelda pregnant. She was pregnant. She was heavily pregnant. So... Logan and Zelda have completely ruined Nolan's birthday party. And before Brianna could even do anything... Aiden, which is her dad, was literally fighting. Like, they were on the ground brawling. They were fighting, and it was, I'm like, I love you, Aiden. Thank you. You're, like, best dad. Well, then Brianna got her go at him. You know, she slapped him. She fought him. She kicked him out of the house and divorced him. And then she, you know, she aged, Brianna hadn't aged up Nolan, but the thing is, like, Nolan had the really sad, like, my parents are divorced, you know, um, so, yeah, he was, he was really sad. Uh, at some point during all of this, Zelda had just, like, disappeared. Like, she was no longer at the house. I didn't have anything saying, nice party, you know, gotta go or anything. She just, like, disappeared. And my dog is howling outside my door. Um, so, I moved Logan out of the house. Uh, I moved him in with Zelda. I'm like, oh, you two, like, deserve each other. Um, and later that night, I got the notification that Logan Lastings is now the father of... And I'll explain the child here in a second. Well, I guess old habits die hard because 
Zelda and Logan got married. Then they both turned around and cheated on each other, divorced each other, and then married the pers- the people they'd been cheating with. Like, it's just, like, a never-ending circle with those two. Like, they, they cheat with someone, they get married to that person, they divorce, and then they go and do it again. And I'm like, do they have some kind of satisfaction with this? Um, so, yeah. I will go ahead and show you Brianna now, just a sort of a refresher. She's handy, daredevil, bookworm, family-oriented, and athletic. She likes the color aqua. She likes tri tofu steak, indie music, and she is an Aries. Now, her age keeps resetting. I'm going to age her up in about a week to an adult because she should only have about seven days left. Not 27, but like I said, her age has reset. And I will show you the family tree really quick. So, Bryn had literally just died, like, two days ago. Like, Logan, not Logan, her husband, Jackson, died well, at, like, maybe halfway through the second generation. So, halfway through Isabella. Um, Bryn has only just died, and we have the same I plan on carrying the fourth generation on with. Like, wow. But anyways, I started these, uh, these this current household generation thing with Bryn and her husband Jackson who she met at college and together they had five children and they have 12 grandchildren they have uh Sophia with Ethan and Olivia these two are twins but Olivia has that aging glitch where she won't age up uh then there's Liam who also had twins Caden and Ava for some reason it says she's still in elementary school um, Emma had Vivian, and then we brought Mia and her husband, Gabriel, to, with, to, to Sunset Valley with us, uh, and together they have Ezra, who, I'll explain his relationship in just a second, and Amelia, and then there's Isabella, who you guys saw in, I believe, my February and March update, both. Uh, with five children of hers, with Charlotte, and, um, actually I'll go over that in a second. So, Ezra is married to a woman named Penelope. Penelope Lastings. Penelope <laughs> is Logan's mom. But Logan was married to Brianna, and Ezra's Brianna's cousin. Like, it's so messed up, it's not even funny. It's crazy. Okay, then there's Isabella and Aiden, okay? Uh, once again, met each other at college, um, and together they had five kids, and they have, uh, three, four, six, eight, ten, they have ten, technically eleven grandchildren, but it won't count one for reasons I'll explain later. I keep having to explain everything later, I keep shoving it off. I know, there's a reason for that. But anyways, they had Charlotte who has Levi and Marie, they had Grayson, who has Paige and Addison, these two aren't twins, they're just both children right now, uh, but Addison, Paige, Addison, and Jacob, there's Haley, who had Christian, Harper, who had Luella, and Haley and Harper are twins, and then there's Brianna, who has Nolan, and her other children, <laughs> um, oh, her lifetime wish is also to become an astronaut, so, uh, she's only at, uh, level three because she's had to take quite a few days off because she just had her daughter. Um, her skills, she's level six athletic, uh, level four cooking, level six handiness, and level one writing. So that's Brianna. She has, she's still so pretty. Uh, she has a different face shape than I'm used to. I got really used to Bryn and Isabella who both have, like, wider jaws, but, like, she doesn't. She has her dad's face shape. Anyways. So, let's go over to, uh, oh, he's looking away. He's like, I'm playing shy right now. Uh, he's so cute. I think Rhett is so cute. Okay, so Rhett is Brianna's husband, okay? Um, so, it all started when Brianna had taken Nolan to a swimming pool, just like a local swimming pool to go swimming, and... I actually had made two sims. Um, I placed both of them in the town. Both of them are pretty similar personalities, but I couldn't decide which one I liked more, so I'm like, whichever one Brianna meets first is the one we'll get with. Well, she met Rhett first. Um, Rhett had been at the swimming pool 
Um, and, like, immediately, like, oh my god, he fell in love with her, he's like, oh, she's so pretty, I, I, it's like, almost that, I can see my future before us now. Well, he introduced himself, he and Brianna started becoming really good friends, then Rhett moved in with us, uh, because not only was he, you know, getting really close with Brianna, he was also getting really close with Nolan. Nolan started looking up to Rhett as, like, his dad-like figure, and after, like, the whole fiasco with Brianna's ex-husband Logan and Logan and Zelda having an affair, then having a child, and what Brianna did with their child, um, he just, he couldn't help but admire her, you know, for what she did with that child, for chugging through everything that Logan had done to her, for being such an amazing single mom and making everything work. Um, so... They became really close, and he grew to be really close with Nolan, like I said. And then, um, so there's, there's, there was mistletoe hanging on, there was mistletoe hanging up, upstairs, and Rhett tricked Brianna into kissing him under the mistletoe, and from there they realized, like, Brianna's like, like, her eyes were open, she's like, oh my god, I love him! Like, she hadn't understood exactly the feelings she was feeling for Rhett, uh, but after that, cause she's like, I see it, so they got married, you know, she's now Brianna Moreau, uh, cause he is Brett Moreau. So, Rhett is good, he's perceptive, I gave him and that other sim both perceptive and hopeless romantic. Um, and I think the other one, I can't even remember his name, <laughs> uh, I gave him family oriented, I could, I, there, the sitch, the I done goofed. Um, the <laughs> traits are pretty similar, in my opinion. I think family-oriented is just slightly better, because it just makes uh, teaching the children how to walk, talk, potty train, whatever, uh, a little faster, but still. Uh, I gave them both perceptive and hopeless romantic. Perceptive because they saw everything that Brianna did, everything that Brianna goes through because of Logan, and hopeless romantic because they immediately had a crush on her. So... Yeah, but he's good, perceptive, hopeless, romantic, an animal lover, which I have the feeling is why he got a dog out of nowhere, and nurturing. He likes the color lime green mu- lime green music? No. He likes the color lime green, he likes grilled cheese, he likes songwriter music, and he's a Libra, and I'm going with the fact that he has two days till he ages up, not seven. So, he is, uh- mainly a stay-at-home dad that we could really use the money for if he got like a real job but we're not doing that uh, so he's basically a stay stay-at-home dad and he just sort of writes on the side but he has no problem you know calling himself a writer um getting on the city's payroll and i do know that that's only one million away from getting us a promotion i noticed that but yeah Rhett is a f technically an official writer, but he just doesn't write very much. He's way more concerned with taking care of the kids. So he has level 1 logic, level 2 charisma, level 1 cooking, and level 6 writing. So that's right. I love him like so much. I love Rhett. So next, we'll come over here to Mr. Nolan. Nolan was the toddler. He looks way different. I know. Wah. Wah. There we go. Um, so Nolan hates his father. Um, after he saw what his dad did, and then when he got older and it was all sort of explained better what had happened, he hates his dad, and he hates Zelda for it. Um, he also hates Zelda for it. He also hates Zelda. Um, he can't, he just can't believe that his dad would be so cruel to his mom and do that. So, uh, Nolan does not consider Logan his dad. If he ever has to talk about Logan, he calls his father Logan. His dad, his biological father is not dad or father or, you know, anything like that. It's Logan. My dad's Logan. His real dad is Red. Uh, Red is the one who is teaching him how to drive. Red is the one who, you know, cares for him and uh, attended his scout honor whatever thing and uh when he was a child you know they went to that it wasn't logan who showed up to any of these it's not logan teaching him to drive it's all rhett and so plus you can tell just how happy his mom is with rhett so 
that's another reason to love Rhett. And so he calls Rhett dad, not stepdad, dad. So, yeah. Uh, Nolan is also clumsy. He's family oriented. He's charismatic and he's friendly. He's, he knows that his dad is not a good guy, but he's like, I don't want to be like my dad. I want to be so friendly and nice. And he loves his little sisters. And so he's, yeah (laughs) but I thought clumsy was cute you know he tries but he can't always you know be completely coordinated he also likes lime green music uh lime green music it's not lime green music he also likes the color lime green uh lobster thermidor digitunes music and he is an aries he is in high school and he is in I believe debate club and he has level two of logic so that's nolan and now, coming down here to... Oh, she looks mad. She looks mad. Honey, why you look so mad? Ah, dang it. Yeah, let's see. There we go. That works. Okay, so. Stephanie. Stephanie Lastings. Stephanie is uh, Logan and Zelda's child. She was... A, a, quote unquote adopted by Brianna. Zelda and Logan gave Brianna full custody of Stephanie. They didn't like they didn't want a kid. Um they absolutely did not want a kid. So they're like Steph I'm getting them all mixed up now. Brianna's like, fine, I'll take her. I'll take her off your hands. Um you know, all that. Cause Brianna didn't want Stephanie to be in a house where she might be abused, you know, left to starve, because her parents just didn't care. So she's like, I will take her in. But Logan, for some reason, made her agree that Stephanie could not change her last name until she was 18 herself. And by then, uh, that's technically, like, the young adult stage as I see it. So she'll be getting married. But um, if she doesn't get married, you know, too quickly, I might change it over to Moreau, because... Stephanie hates being um, acquainted with her parents. Um, it's sort of the same thing with Nolan. She sees Brianna and Rhett as her mom and dad, not Zelda and Logan. So, yes, but she does look a lot like her mom. She has the pinkish color in her hair. She is they're, Both of her parents are blonde, but she does have her mom's hair. She also has her mom's eyes, both the eye color and the eye shape. Uh, if you guys can sort of see, her eyes are pointed up in the corner, and I purposely sort of hid that, because if I let it show, then it made her face look sort of weird with a lot of the hairstyles I was trying, so I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna cover it up. Um, it's not to say she won't, like, grow into it in the future, but right now it just made her face look sort of weird, so I didn't bother with it. (laughs) Um, she is a perfectionist, and she's a genius, and she loves cats. She's a cat person. She also likes spice berry, hot dogs, French music, and she's a Scorpio. She is in ballet, and she has no skills, but Stephanie, I think, is actually really cute, and I really like her. But yeah, this is the kid that, uh, she's not in the family tree. She won't put her in the family tree. Um, I wish I could find a way to let it, but it won't. It won't. I would put it under, like, Brianna's kids, but it, like I said, it won't. So next is Miss Abigail. Abigail is adopted. Um, Abigail's an adopted child. She, well, she, Brianna, had heard uh, through the grapevine that there was a child who had recently come from a very broken home. She had been abused. Uh, her family mistreated her greatly. And so Brianna immediately jumped in, and she's like, I'll take her even though Brianna did not have the money. She already had two kids, um, and the money that she and by now Rhett were both scraping in was barely enough to get through. Um, She's still like, I'm taking this child. I don't want this little girl to be hurt any longer or put in another family who could just treat her so terribly. So Brianna took her, and since then Abigail once again mom and I wish it said father not stepfather but it does so Abigail is shy she remembers she has scars on her body from where from like when she'd been abused as a toddler she doesn't necessarily remember a lot of it she remembers some things the fact that her parents were never happy with her they were always mad 
so that makes her shy but she loves being around her family especially stephanie abigail and stephanie are like best friends um but she's also autistic she can see the world in ways that no other people can and i don't mean like oh she's like got like supernatural abilities no i mean like she sees like the colors she sees how like the colors can blend together and make such a beautiful picture and she's friendly once you get to know abigail like she is one of the friendliest people you'll ever meet she loves orange cheesesteak and also songwriter music and she's an aquarius she is also in ballet and she has level one of painting so lastly is little miss everly everly is brianna and rhett's only blood child um i consider all the children to be theirs but everly is the only one that they've actually tried for a baby for and you know gotten together um so brianna's only been pregnant two times uh anyways everly i'm planning on everly being the sim for the next um generation that's it and yeah i don't plan on them having any more kids i sort of like the four that i have uh but everly loves the cold she's athletic she likes lilac i was gonna say music again lilac spaghetti island life music and she's a cancer she has four days till she ages up she has she's not in the job and she has no skills but she's so cute she looks like so much like her dad she has her dad's jaw she has her dad's eye color and her dad's hair color i think she might possibly have her mom's nose but other than that she looks so much like her dad and look at Rhett. he's so cute i love Rhett. um it's actually photo worthy okay um <laughs> but yeah this is the family these are brianna's kids and her husband uh, we'll go ahead and introduce you to the animals. So this is this is Eclipse. Eclipse is a cat that Brianna adopted. Once again, didn't have money, but she'd heard that Eclipse had been sort of like Abigail, mistreated as a kitten, and so Brianna took her in. She's such a sweet little cat. Uh, she's non-destructive. She came with non-destructive, and she has gained over time neat, adventurous, on Hunter. She has 19 days till she ages up. She's obviously a female, and she's at level 7 of the hunting skill. Um, she's just so sweet. I like. I don't get attached to cats very often in this game, but I, I get more attached to the dogs. But like, oh, I'm I'm getting attached to Eclipse, and it's not a good thing. Um, it's not a good thing when I get attached to any Sims. Oh my gosh! Oh goodness! look at that lunar okay and it's like going through her chest fluff okay um oh could you please like get off your back okay that works okay so this is lunar this is the dog that uh not logan i was gonna say logan Rhett adopted at some point i did not uh put him in the town with a dog uh i did not give him a dog at any point he just went up and got a dog and it's a husky i love huskies i wish i had a husky um but her name is lunar her name was originally like mocha or something but i liked the i liked eclipse i'm like we're gonna do lunar and at one point they had a hedgehog that um eclipse had caught and i named it solar but we needed the money so i sold solar yeah hard times but um Lunar came with actually really good traits. She's a genius, she's friendly, she's loyal, and she's non-destructive. And that's actually, uh, these three, genius, friendly, and loyal, they're actually pretty close to being, like, a, um, a husky. Um, she has nine days till she's up, obviously female. It says that she has a mate, but she's on really bad terms with her mate, Sunny Lundrak something like that she's on really bad terms with this dog um and she's at hunting skill level eight so this house <sighs> this house uh, um i have all these lights up sorry it's it's a pretty cute house yeah and that is there for a purpose that's there for a reason i did not you know forget to accidentally like put walls there 
I know. I know that there's like a little walkway. I would hate it, but I think it's pretty cool. Because <laughs> I get cold so easily. But anyways, um, I sold a lot of the decorative items in this house. I got the inspiration for it somewhere. I think it was from like a Sims website like normal and it wouldn't let me download. So I copied it the best I could myself. Um, but, but yeah, so... Like I said, deleted a lot of the decorative items. I'm slowly replacing it really with the like cheaper, like I had way nicer rugs here at the doorways, but I have sold them and gotten little cheaper ones. So we've gotten money back. So this is the kitchen. And yes, I know the kitchen is dark, but if I uh, were to turn the lights on full brightness, I actually have them on dim here in the kitchen. Um, the countertops will become blinding and I hate it when the countertops are like that. It's so annoying. Um, this small dining room that's just through here. The spiral staircase leads up to everyone's bedroom but Nolan's. We have a small bookcase for all of, or like the two books Rhett has written. Uh, we have the playpen to help, and the playpen and the walker to help uh, teach the toddlers how to walk when we have them. Uh, it's a bathroom. There's only two bathrooms in this house, and the other one is very inconveniently placed. And yes, I know that there's this wall over here by the stairs that isn't painted. I'm sorry. Um, then there's the living room. And like I said, I've slowly added back a rug, a coffee table, you know, the stuff on the coffee table. We had a gaming system at one point, but that wasn't allowed to stay. Uh, I also eventually added this toy box and this desk. We had gotten like a big sum of money at one point, and so I added the desk back in. Um, then upstairs, this is Nolan's room. This was originally the room Rhett was sleeping in, um, but I eventually made this Nolan's room because once Rhett and Brianna got together, they could both share a bedroom. Uh, so this is now Nolan's room. It's 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 a pretty, it's nice, a pretty room. nice room. I was really glad that I, I didn't get rid of the things ball table or the game, or the game station. station. Or actually, I actually like really like this subway, this subway bench. bench. I really, I like, really it. like it. I think it's really cute in the room. room. It sort of adds something a little really different. different. Uh, uh, then I eventually gave him a desk. desk. There, was there, was there was one originally there, there but I had to get rid of it. Coming over, coming over here, here this, this bluish gray, gray room is Brianna, Brianna and Rhett's room. room. I really, I like, really the like the color, like I but said, like I a, said lot a lot of the decorative items are gone. 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 I, had I had plants, plants everywhere. everywhere. I had, I had some, some paintings, paintings on the wall, but, but I haven't had to replace them yet. yet. This is both, this is both Abigail, Abigail and Stephanie's room. room. I, I find it funny how, how I gave them this really small room. But yeah, Nolan has room over here all by himself. I don't know. I just... Don't judge, don't judge me. me. But this, this is actually, actually, I actually, actually think this room is really cute, cute. cute. Um, I like the, I like colors, the colors, and, and I, 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 just, I just think it's really, really cute. Really cute. So, so. Then, then, then coming upstairs, we have the only spot I could put the crib. crib. So, 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 put it up here. We have the other bathroom. I said, really inconvenient. No one is up here except for the toddler. And the toddler cannot use the bathroom up here. Oh well, oh, well, then there was this room. This room was, had, had the most stuff purged from it. Um, I originally had just, um, I had crap everywhere. I had taken the most mixed match stuff I could find, and I put it in here, um, to the point that my sims couldn't even get to the bed, they couldn't get to the dresser, or the easel, but then I had to delete it all because I needed the money. So now this is just, it's still sort of like an attic room. I'm planning on making Everly sleep up here. This will be her room. Um, I'll probably end up replacing some of the stuff, but I sort of like it. I like all the odd furniture. I've never used the this dresser or this mirror or this um, bed. I've obviously used the easel before, but I'm like, why not? I just like the fact that it's such an oddball room. And I loved it even more when I had the clutter everywhere. What I was going for when I did that, I don't know. But I still did it. Um, and then over here, we still have Brianna's Ford Fusion. Rhett has a Dodge Ram truck. And this is Nolan's car, even though he technically can't drive yet. He's 
I think, level 2 driving. So he's almost there, but he's not there yet. Um. So, yeah. Then... Oh, there's something I forgot to tell you. Logan's been arrested multiple times for not paying his child support for both Nolan and Stephanie. He has neglected it uh, multiple times. I've gotten notifications from Story Progression, of course. I love Story Progression, even though it does sort of lag up my game. Um, but Story Progression t gave me a message saying Logan Lastings is being like a bad parent. And if he keeps refusing to, you know, pay his uh, child support, then he will be thrown in jail for the night. Well, I later received another notification, you know, a couple hours later in the in the game. Uh, Logan Lastings has been thrown in jail for failing to pay his child support. I'm like, and that's happened like two or three times. I'm like, Logan, you are such a bad parent. <laughs> like, it's not even funny. He's so, such a bad parent. But... Yeah, so that is my current household. I'm really sorry. This one was really long, but there was such a story that happened, and I just wanted to share with you the story because in the story created drama. The story, the story created drama, and the drama makes everything more interesting, if not a little tougher. But that's okay. Um, I like it. So I will end this part here. Thank you guys. Part this update here. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys!